it's just kind of a treasure, really, to be able to work in such a wild and beautiful place. Because we live, fish, hunt, and cut timber here, it's all in our backyard. And that's something we're really proud of, that we've got this national forest as our playground and our work ground. Well, we've always argued that we're environmentalists. And I think if you have a, an approach that values the forest more than the bottom line, that you can use resources without ruining the resource. And that's not the typical corporate policy at all. We need to develop a sustainable approach to living on this planet. We can't just extract all the resources and think that things are fine. We're cutting trees to make room for the others to grow. Nice tree, look how straight it is. It's a good log. When you remove some trees, you've created some less competition and some space, which is good for almost all species. The difference between a selective approach and a clear-cutting approach, well, in my mind, clear-cutting is deforestation. And uh, this isn't good for the forest or the habitat or the animals that live there. Over a third of the Tongass has been clear-cut already. And this is not being actively restored in any quantity. This is an American resource that everybody in America owns. And the resource is not being treated well and uh, the leveling of the forest for short-term gain is a very short-sighted approach, especially considering that we have the finest forest left in North America here. We do support the roadless rule staying intact. We don't want to see any mass extraction of anything here in this pristine wilderness that we live in. What a log. We'll keep this one on the stump. We're gonna hold on and try to do what's right and look for the resources to make the changes that we all need to make to have a, a sustainable life in the Tongass, in our homes, in our communities.